What's up everybody? I'm Cindy Goodman and this is Kevin. Yes, there is a third cat. In today's fix, the next Smash DLC fighter is coming from ARMS, everything else in today's mini direct, and a hacker has stolen Series X source code. Not joking. Roll the thing! The best kind of surprises are mini. Mini Kit Kats and mini golf, mini fridges, mini mouse, and Nintendo Surprise Direct Mini! Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's next DLC fighter is coming from a game you wouldn't expect. Legs! Just kidding, it's ARMS, that's such a bad joke. There's no game called Legs, and I can say it's a bad joke because I wrote it. Cool! If you're an ARMS fan, I've never played ARMS, so I'm a tad indifferent, but the newest fighter will be announced and released in June 2020. Probably won't be Springman since he's already an assist trophy in-game. So maybe Min Min or Helix? Who do you think it'll be? Let us know in the comments. In addition, we got a myriad of announcements, so let's speed round with another edition of Cool or Ew. Xenoblade's Chronicles Definitive Edition is coming to the Switch on May 29th, which will allow players worldwide to enjoy the title that launched on the Wii in Japan 2010. Cool! 2K has announced that Bioshock The Collection, Borderland Legendary Collection, and XCOM 2 Collection are all headed to Switch on May 29th as well. Cool! Except maybe not for your wallet if you're planning on buying all four games releasing on May 29th. Bravely Default 2, the game announced at the Game Awards 2019, got a new trailer. We got more details on the Pokemon Sword and Shield expansion Pass. The expansion pass will add the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra in 2020. Isle of Armor will be released in June of this year, and trainers will be fighting slash training in a dojo that will earn you the legendary Pokemon Kubfu. Once you complete the Isle of Armor, your starter Pokemon's evolved form will gain a Gigantamax form. There will also be new outfits, league card customization options, and much more. Cool! That Pokemon is getting DLC, but I am still somehow not into the Gigantamaxing stuff, like at all. So a person mini you for that. But last, and certainly not least, Animal Crossing New Horizons! First seasonal event begins April 1st and runs through April 12th. The event is called Bunny Day in honor of Easter, and you get to find eggs hidden by bunny visitor Zipper. That's a cute name for a bunny. And craft exclusive items with them. Cool! And the next event will be Earth Day in late April. Cool! Lots of cools in there, because why not let yourself get excited about announcements? Even if they're not for you, it's exciting that it's probably exciting to someone else. In an era where we're moving to a more online lifestyle, it's important to be weary of one thing. Hackers. Hack the planet! A hacker has reportedly stolen the Xbox Series X graphics source code and is now holding it ransom. A blog post on the AMD website explained the situation. Quote, we were contacted by someone who claimed to have test files related to a subset of our current and future graphics products. And according to a report from Torrent Freak, this stolen data was found in a hacked computer and includes source code for AMD's Big Navi and Arden GPUs, the latter of which is rumored to be that fancy Series X 12 teraflop GPU. And since AMD has issued a DMCA takedown notice on the repository where the data was being held, we're thinking this hack is actually legit. Later, AMD's official statement made it clear that the stolen data is, quote, not core to the competitiveness or security of our graphics products, which is the corporate equivalent of, I wasn't playing with those toys anyway. The hacker is asking for one million dollars. <throat> actually $100 million for the code, and if they don't get the money, threaten to dump the entirety of the stolen data if a buyer isn't found. So let's see how inessential the stolen goods actually were. You the hacker? I got like $2. Let me know. And that was your daily fix. Now that you are all caught up on the news, check out our premiere of Watch From Home Theater. Subscribe to the Daily Fix on Snapchat. And for all things everything else, IGN.com.